Hey, I'm Massimo Capra of Capra's Kitchen. I'm the owner here. And beside me is my superstar chef, Nitesh Rora. He's an amazing guy. He's always taking care of the food in this place and the food here never gets any complaints. Never. I mean, if somebody does, I mean, obviously they don't know what they're talking about. That's the... <laughs> anyway, we're gonna put together this Gramigna pasta because I'm super excited about this. This is a, a pasta that, uh, you know, it's fun to eat, it's fun to look at, it's fun to play with. We've shown you how to make them because we have a machine running, so we just made these ones. This is so traditional, there's nothing more traditional than this. It's been done forever, since they invented pasta. I, yeah, <laughs> very yeah, true. Anyway. It's been so long that you can't even <laughs> date it. We have an onion. You don't need to make the onion too small for this. I like a little bit of the crunch of the onion and the garlic. Smack it like he owes you money, like that, break it up. You know, I love garlic too, right? That, high flavor items. High flavor, I, I love flavor. I mean, I'm not, I'm not shy on putting flavor in my food. I've always been that. And I, I opened up a can of diced tomato. These are, these are beautiful, La Torrente. Eh? What La Torrente, si. Look at that, it's tomato juice. I could eat this with just, just a little bit of bread. First and foremost, don't be afraid of salt when you're cooking pasta. The water will remove all of the flavor from your flour from your eggs or from whatever you are putting in because it's just plain water, nothing comes pre-seasoned. So nice amount of salt, put as much salt as you want, but at least a little pinch like this will be enough, okay, just to maintain the integrity of the flavor of the pasta. Pasta, water is done. Turn it down to a minimum, we're not gonna need it for a while. Now we are going to do this, olive oil, I'm gonna put a little half a nugget of butter. Really? Yeah. Not too much. Now we have the garlic and the onions. Dump them in and you wanna cook them until they're translucent. Give it a good cook, okay? Because this is a, a ragu that is made in like five minutes. This is a quick, quick ragu. Quick, quick. I love basil, so let me put basil. Nice amount. I'm gonna leave it all in. Done. So freaking simple. When the onion is slightly translucent, we're gonna add the sauces and we're gonna break it all up. See, the onion is changing color. Plus, if you smell it, the gases from the onion is all gone. That's what you want. You want the gases gone because otherwise it will give a bad flavor to your food. Eh? So now I, I can put my sausage in, break it up as much as possible, but leave nice little nuggets, you know, almost as if you were intentionally wanting to make meatballs or sausage, you know? Onions, when they're cooked properly, sweet. Sweet. Exactly. Beautiful sweet. Beautiful sweet. And a nice little crunch under your teeth. I mean, amazing. Now, this is not what they do in Italy. In Italy, they will put very little onion, very little garlic, you know. But because we are not in Italy, we are in Canada, in Mississauga, and my flavors are robust, I want a lot of onions. I don't care. When you start seeing the searing action, you're good. Just a little pinch of salt. That will go for the onion to extract a little bit the juices. A little pinch of black pepper, very small amount. Look, just like that. Put it everywhere. Now we put our wine in it. Let the alcohol evaporate. Always let the alcohol evaporate because it's never good to have taste in the alcohol. I know maybe for the drunks out there, okay, you want it, but yeah. Salted boiling water, boom, pasta in. Give it a stir, gentle, back of the spoon, just like that. Nothing else to do. How much tomato? We don't want a heck of a lot of tomato here. This is not a, a marinara. There you go. That was like two spoonful of a can of tomato, right? Yep. Now we finish with our flavoring. We do a little bit of nutmeg, just a pinch. When the tomatoes, you see how they change color? They go from this color red to this vermilion beautiful red. That's what we want. I can put a little bit of chicken stock in. Three minutes for the pasta, five minutes for the sauce, right? I mean, it's so simple. Then the sauce will tell you when it's ready, huh? I mean, the sauce will speak to you. Pinch of salt. Start almost there. And this sauce, even though it's a ragu, it's a meat ragu, it's a fresh sauce. It's a beautiful freshness and lightness to it. Yeah. Give me some pasta water. Boom, right in. Let me collect all the pasta. Yes, baby. Chef, do we have some parsley chopped? Yes, I do anywhere? have it ready for you. See, the, the pasta is not hidden by the sauce. You can see the pasta, you can see the sausages, you can see the tomato. That's a work of art, really. I mean, that's a properly dressed noodle. Put a nice amount in. There you go. And 
Exactly, we like to toss it, we like to flavor it. And that's the only other thing missing would be Parmigiano Reggiano. Or Grana Padano in this case, uh -huh. because in this kitchen we are a Grana Padano kitchen. Let's put the rest of the nugget of butter. There you go. We are butter lovers. And this is enough for two people, right? Easy. Give it a good toss and then we eat. Look at that. The more you toss it, the better it looks. It gets creamier. Put it all in, eh? put it all in, yeah. Sprinkle a little cheese. Make it nice, make friends with it. Let's go to taste it because this is really good. Oh yeah, baby. Gramigna la salsiccia. Mmm. Come on, man. There you go. Look at that. Creamy, delicious pasta. Look at that. It's so much fun to eat this pasta. I love it. It's so quick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Four minutes, man. See what happens? You just throw your fork in and all of a sudden you pick up a whole bunch of pasta. And a piece of sausage. Huh? Mm. Eh? Outstanding. It's al dente. Al dente, but not stick but to your teeth. But it doesn't stick to your teeth. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so good. Mm. And those onions. When you get them, they, yeah. they just almost pop in your mouth. And Beautiful. it's fun to eat too. It's got a nice, uh, nice consistency. I love that. If you want this pasta, come and see us. This is absolutely beautiful. All right, Rosa. There is just a little... What happened to all of it? You guys ate it all. Okay. Well, Rosa, you can just lick the plate if you want. Oh, you got it. Okay. Jesus Christ. You, you people are nuts. You're making me crazy.